Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about weekly stock market update and we will figure out is it still bullish market trend, what's going on with the stock market world on a weekly time frame. As usually let's move to 5 rules of risk management. Please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's a time for trading view. Let's start from stock market heat map based on the all USA companies market cap and weekly performance. Looks like everything green, all sectors green weekly. Weekly we are still bullish, right? Nvidia weekly negative, interesting. Generally all bullish. Let's see daily. Daily is kind of gray and red, right? It means market is changing direction on daily. Okay, let's move to my watch list and we will do technical analysis review. If you want to learn more about uh, trading view setup, just go to the description. There is the link about trading view setup training and other links about all my trainings. Now let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using simple moving averages, white line SMA 200, purple line SMA 100, blue line SMA 50, yellow line SMA 20, red line SMA 10, green line SMA 5. Buy and sell script indicator, RSI yellow line and Heikonachi bars. That's all very simple, it's not easy because emotions involved. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. Like we have here on, on, the, on, on the chart, right? Let me tell you how it works. You see red circle, it's 1MA5, indeed bearish crossover, over 10, over red line, green crossover, red line, it was bearish trend since that time, it is in a bearish reversal trend. While bars below MA5, SMA5, it is bearish trend. When it's above SMA5, like here, like, look at it, green circle, SMA5 did bullish crossover and bars above SMA5, it, it is, it was bullish trend. Same, I can actually did bullish crossover over I'm sorry, Heikonachi. RSI did bullish crossover over Heikonachi. It was bullish crossover. Very simple. Okay, daily DXY we have for four days. It's a flat price action and dancing around SMA 200. SMA 200 strong support. It can bounce from this position. We will monitor it. Weekly time frame. Weekly time frame. It's in a bearish reversal silk circle also. And now, the last two weeks, it's kind of dancing also at SMA 20, SMA 50, SMA 100. Kind of strong support, it can also get support at SMA 150 level and can get bounce also. We'll see, or it will continue bearish trend and it will stop at SMA 200. So far it is bearish, it is bullish for indexes and equities. Qs, let's start Qs weekly, right? Four weeks in a row, straight bull trend, bull price action, uptrend bullish, and RSI has bearish divergence, it means it wants to have correction. Bearish, you see it, it just, this was previous high, previous high, now we reached a new previous high, recent high, we, we, we reached new recent high. All time high was, I think, at the 4 408, right? Yeah. Somewhere here, let's see. Yeah, 409. Almost, yeah, 409. 409. That's, yeah, it's 20 bucks away from, from this level. And, uh, yeah, bearish divergences, it means it wants to have correction. Daily bullish trend, no changes. Daily bullish trend. Weekly also bullish. Weeks. VXN volatility index for, for Qs, bearish trend, last bar below all moving averages, bearish trend. No changes, it is bullish for Qs. SPX, S&P 500 weekly, 4 weeks in a row, bullish trend. <coughs> S&P 500 a little bit weaker than you see, Qs they did all, no, not all, recent all recent time high, recent uh, time high, 
S&P 500 didn't reach the previous time high, the, the latest time, time high. It is still uh, it's building bearish divergences. It's not confirmed yet because we need to reach this level around 45 of around 4600 and RSI will have bearish divergence. Weekly is still bullish, right? Daily, it is bullish also. Daily, it is bullish. It closes this gap. This gap already closed. Let me remove it. Bullish, yeah, but it created it, it created already multiple gap ups, like four four of them already. They will be closed someday. Okay, now let's move to VIX. VIX volatility index for S P five hundred last bar below all moving averages on weekly. Still bearish trend. Bearish trend. It's a lot of a lot of support in this level. It can bounce from it. It created bullish divergence on RSI. It wants to bounce. So far, it is bearish and bullish for S&P 500. DIA Dow Jones weekly four weeks in a row bullish trend, similar like all other equities. Uh, yeah, it didn't reach the uh, recent uh, recent high. Similar like uh, S&P 500, right? <coughs> so far, bullish trend on weekly. <coughs> I'm sorry. And daily, also bullish trend. Bullish setup, bullish trend, multiple gap ups. <coughs> DXY, volatility index for Dow Jones. Weekly, let's see. Bearish trend, bearish position, bearish crossover. It is bullish for Dow Jones. IWM weekly. IWM weekly. Buy signal SMA5 ready for bullish crossover. Bullish. It's ready for bullish crossover. Still below 20. Not confirmed. All moving averages below 200. Still bearish territory, but it wants to have some bullish trend because maybe it was rejected from this SMA 200, SMA 20 moving averages. Absolutely possible so far. Bullish crossover. Daily bullish. It did touch 200 and was rejected from 200. Still bullish trend on daily time frame also. RVX volatility index for uh, IWM. SMA5 did bearish crossover, last bar below all moving averages, bearish reversal trend on weekly time frame, it is bullish for IWM. On weekly time frame, yeah. I remember I don't trade on the weekly time frame or monthly time frame, I just monitor it. Uh, the week is over, that's why we do weekly review. Weekly for Apple, also four weeks in a row, bull trend. Last week it was not very bullish. It's kind of indecision mode, even tail bearish reversal bar. You see, for, we, we had the same bar over here, like this one. Tail bearish reversal. It was it, what it did, it did reversal, right? Same was here, it did reversal. It's possibility, it's not a hundred percent, it's always I think so 70% possibility it can do bearish reversal. Yeah, bullish trend it has some gap. It didn't close this gap. Bullish trend on weekly and daily. Daily it is bullish. Last bar. Last bar it was okay. It did kind of reversal because it, RSI was an overbought territory and, and it did. It, it did some correction. So far it's not confirmed, still kind of bullish in the bullish territory. Tesla, let's start Tesla daily. Similar SMA5 did bullish crossover, last bar still about 10 and 20, 20 just ready for bullish crossover over 200. But looks like bars, uh, several bars, they touched SMA50. They couldn't 
do bullish crossover over SMA 50. Uh, yeah, still positive trend bullish territory. Four hours time frame. Four hours, I mean, no, four hours. So let, let's move to weekly. Yeah, weekly, weekly it is bearish, right? SMA 5 below SMA 10 and 20. Even last bar moved above SMA 5 and 10. Still below 20. Still bearish territory. The price action bounced from SMA 200. Bounce from SMA 200. It's, it's a positive bullish signal, but it's still not confirmed bullish trend. So far, still in a bearish territory. Amazon weekly. Amazon weekly bullish. You see, price action is uptrend. Last five weeks bullish trend, bullish crossover, last bar above all moving averages. This gap is already closed. And RSI has bearish divergence, right? RSI has bearish divergence. It means Amazon wants to have correction. Now let's move to daily. Daily similar story, bullish trend. Bullish price action, SMA 5. SMA 5 still above all moving averages, last bar in decision mode. It can get some reversal, you see. This price action is uptrend. And look at the RSI. RSI even on the daily time frame has bearish divergence. Let me show you. Look at it here. Bearish divergence, even on daily time frame. NVIDIA. Daily, it did bearish reversal, sell signal. Bearish reversal signal, no confirmation yet because for, for full confirmation of the bearish trend, we need bars move below 20. So far, bars about 20. Bearish reversal signal. And weekly. Weekly, it is still bullish, right? Last bar still above all moving averages, still bullish trend. Let's see. Look at it. Price action is uptrend. Even like, like this one. Like. Price action is uptrend and uh, RSI is downtrend. RSI is downtrend from here. Bearish divergences, it wants to have some correction. Still, trend is bullish. Microsoft, let's see weekly. Weekly, same story. Bullish trend on weekly time frame. Nice bullish trend like this one. Right. And it has bearish. I'm sorry. Let's do it again. Bullish trend on the price action and bearish divergences on RSI. It wants to have some correction. Daily time frame. Bullish trend, RSI, bullish crossover. RSI is still bullish. It wasn't a bullish overbought territory and it did kind of reversal. Still bullish on all time frames, on daily and weekly. Baba, Alibaba group, let's still bearish daily time frame. Last bar below all moving averages, still bearish trend. Weekly. Last bar below all moving averages, also bearish trend. Only Alibaba negative weekly on, on my chart. It's bearish on weekly and daily time frame. And dollar. Dollar is also bearish, right? Dollar is also bearish. That's two items in my watch list. But indexes and equities still weekly, still very bullish. Definitely last bar disconnected from all moving averages definitely wants to have correction connection and for the connection it should have correction and they all of them they have uh, bearish divergences bearish divergences for all indexes and equities that's all yeah divergences it doesn't tell you exactly the time when market will change direction it tells market is ready it's all in overbought position are assigned very overbought and it's ready for bearish reversal. And we have to be ready for it. Because market can change direction anytime. And we should be able to change direction also. Just follow the market. Don't fight with the market. 
Disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. Thank you for watching simple trading style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.